you've taken some of the most iconic aircraft from the Star Wars legend, yeah. and that's the only way to put it, and you've put, made them flyable drones that now can be utilized both for fun as well as just flat out reliving your fantasies of yeah. being Luke Skywalker or for that matter Darth Vader if you go that way. <laughs> Tell us how this whole came about. So I mean when we brought up we've got a guy here called Carl England he's our head of licensing he came into the into the business a few years ago and said your product is so great but I feel like you know we could really take this to, to the next level and and we spoke about the Star Wars franchise and right from the get-go it's like what do we want these Star Wars ships to be? Well they need to be they're beautiful like the ships are in the, in the films, they need to be high performance, they need to fly well, they need to really gain people's excitement and, and I feel like now go a year and a half, two years down the line that we've managed to incorporate all of that into a product and we've got you know hand-painted beautiful looking drones, we've filed 12 different patents on all the different technologies that we've developed and put into these drones that we're super proud of. Tell us, how did you develop a stability control system to bring life to Star Wars? We really had it stacked against us with these drones because having the propellers on top of the drone just ruined the aesthetics. They made them look dreadful. So that was when we made the decision to basically come up with the reverse propulsion technology and put the blades underneath the drones. So by doing that, what we did is we put all of the center of gravity right up top which inherently makes the drones very, very unstable. Now, we are lucky to be working with some very, very talented programmers. So when they came to me as the, 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 the final tuner on the drones, I already had something that was flyable and I could go off and tune. You know, it's uh, hours and hours, 18 hour days for three weeks on end we spent tuning each ship to get them right. Because you think you'd get it perfect, you think, that's it, I've done the drone, you'll go to sleep, you'll come back the next day and you think, what's this? <laughs> who, who programmed this? This is shocking. So it, it was that repeat process again and again, getting my professional pilots flying the drones, getting their feedback, and uh, the drones performing flawlessly, and they're so much fun to fly, it's great. They fly at 35 miles an hour in the, in the third speed mode, in the fastest speed mode. They fly for around six to eight minutes, depending on your flying capabilities. So if you're a brand new drone pilot that's never ever flown before, you're just learning to hover, then you'll get eight minutes out of the battery. We provide you with two batteries within the box, a fast charger, so 30 minutes until 90%, then a full charge, 100% takes 40 minutes. We provide you with a, a bunch of different spare parts. So we inject our drones in polypropylene as opposed to ABS, which is what a lot of other drone manufacturers use. Now, PP is 30% more expensive, but it's so much more durable. The drones really are extremely resilient and, and it will fly for days. What kind of training aids or uh, education material are included so somebody can teach themselves to fly these? Sure. So. To me, drones are a kind of considered purchase. You know, you, you may have researched drones, you may be into drones, and you've done the appropriate research to be able to know how to fly one. With Star Wars, what that brings in, it brings in a whole new consumer base that may not be interested in drones, but because they're Star Wars, they just want to buy them, they want to fly them. So I sat down and says, right, how, how can we make it easy for a beginner to fly? Someone's never ever flown a drone before, so we've included the air pressure sensor in there. So when a new user takes off, they don't even have to worry about how high it is, how low it is, they can literally control the drone with one hand, forwards, back, left and right, and the drone moves very, very slowly in the special training mode. And you can press a button and automatically take off and automatically land. So it's things like this that really make it so easy for a brand new drone user to use. So with me as a professional pilot and yourself, you can turn the air pressure sensor off, which gives you the ability to change height, speed, direction extremely quickly, which makes them you know, as exciting as they are to fly. Will we see FPV versions? We hope so. So that's a, a licensing thing with Disney. Um, we are going to propose them and see, see where that goes. But you know, I think Star Wars FPV could be huge. Laser battling FPV could be huge. Jack, it, it's obviously one of the hits at CES 2017. It's been exciting. You've only had them out a couple of weeks. How can somebody find one for themselves? How much? Where do you buy it? So in the US, we are currently partnering with Bed Bath & Beyond, Brookstone and Best Buy. You can also order through our website, propelsw.com. In the UK, we're selling through Hamleys, Argos, Maplins, and then we can deliver online as well. Well, Jack, I got to tell you, I keep going from booth to booth here and going, wow, that's the coolest thing I've seen. Well, this is the coolest thing I've seen, and I don't expect it to be topped. Good on you. Congratulations. All right, well, thank you so much. Cheers. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Aero TV is brought to you by
Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115-horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com.